the biggest problem for me when I came out was I couldn't talk to anyone. I couldn't, you know, people annoying me. And I was used to people walk away from me when I come. And that's also something I had to, you know, hey, you don't look like a, a bad guy anymore. People don't move when you come. You have to move yourself, you know. Tom Roswell was sentenced for drug trafficking, kidnapping, physical injury, violence and bank robbery. Today he is volunteering in a cafe for former prisoners called Cafe Exit. It helps him to lead a non-criminal life. I couldn't understand. I hear someone sit and bits about there was no su sweet milk in Neto. And I think if that is a problem, then you have a good life. I have to look at how people interact. It's something I have to learn. That is very hard for me. I only interact with other, pe other people when I was uh, a criminal. I, I, I use this and I use my mouth and my position in the club and stuff like that, but I can use that out here in the real world. Every fourth former prisoner in Denmark recidivates and has to go back to jail. In order to prevent death and to proceed a crime-free life, they have to re-socialize. At the cafe exit right behind me, they can go and ask for help and advice to find their way back into society. I say it's not more than 10 or 15 percent of everybody being in prison who are interested in being re-socialized. So that's why working with volunteers is a very strong branch of social work. If you have to walk yourself, we can we can walk together, but that's the limit and the frame we do the social work. And I know I've done something I never will forgive myself from, but I hope God forgive me. You cannot run away from what you were, not in this little country. You will always be ex-con. I will always be ex-con. It's not a, 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 about what I've done, it's what I'm doing now and how I'm seeing myself for the rest of my life, you know.